Hello and welcome to another episode of our Tottenham Hotspur FM23 beta save. In today's episode we will go through a couple of games. We have that big game against Man City and then we have our Champions League draw. Let's have a quick look at some highlights of today's episode. Are we going to have to drop Kane? Nah, it's over. Two points dropped. I'm disappointed. There you go, we picked up a little bit of end here. <laughs> We're going to get Dortmund or Inter, aren't we? Oh my god, that's turning into a group of death. If you like today's episode, please give it a like. And if you want to watch more content like this video, you know what you'd need to do. Hit that subscribe button, hit the bell to be notified. Right, let's get FM in. Ooh, Inter have put in an offer for Lucas Mora. 9.5 million. Agent feedback. My client is extremely interested in speaking to Inter and would require convincing to stay at the club. To be fair, he's not a first teamer. How much did they pay for him? 25 million. How much is he worth? They're paying his value, right? I mean, his contract expires next season. So we should really think about getting rid of him. This is the first offer. Wonder if I could push it for them just to give me 10 million straight and deal done. Let's try that. 10 million, he's yours. Suggest. There we go. Except playing away against Brighton. They are fourth in the table. So they won their first game against. Let's go and have a look. They played Leicester. They won 3 1. So it was away as well. Is Leicester really in that bad shape at the moment? I know in real life they're not doing that great. Oh, wow. Like Leicester didn't dominate possession, had a lot of shots. But Brighton won 3-1. They had three on target and they won. Don't know why Son's not doing great there. He's playing, that's his preferred position. Inverted winger, support. Is he just having a bad time? Maybe he will come good. This match we should be winning, make sure we do. They've got a shot on target against us. We've got three shots on target, but still nothing. Are we going to have to drop Kane? Are we going to have to put Son as our main striker or something like that? At least Son's playing a little bit better. Or do we just keep faith? If the fans expect to win, don't let them down. Yeah, remind them of the fans. Come on. Nine shots. Michaelis is off. Two feet challenge. Of course he's off. Wow, look at Brighton's possession. Shooting up. They've got 10 men. Come on. Let's play less narrow then. Play standard. Play slightly more direct. Take work ball into box. Play out defense. Higher tempo. Just go positive. I got 10 men. We need to go more positive. Five minutes. Is this a two points loss? Nah, it's over. Two points dropped. I'm disappointed. What's the stats? We've got two shots, one on target. I had a man off. Yeah, okay, now I'm a little bit worried. 1 0 against Forrest at home. 0 0 against 10 men. Brian, it's not good. Maybe we need to think about our away formation. Worst thing is, we've got Man C next away. If we play like that, we're going to get battered. What am I thinking at the moment? It's probably too early to say. We should really give this formation 10 games without making drastic changes. Maybe 10 games, make some tweaks, and another 10 games if again we feel that the shape is not providing us what we require in performance and then we will just change it completely. My attack are not being efficient in front of goal. We're getting for shots, but not putting in for bloody back of the net. And that's what wins your games. Is it something that we need to review before we go into the Man City game? In possession, I think we hold the ball well. Is Kane set as wrong in player role as a deep line forward? I mean, that's maybe his best position. He's attacking. I wouldn't want him on support. Ah, yes, I was thinking this the other day. Maybe have Tillemans as he's back. Maybe put him as support just to get him up the field a little bit because there probably is that gap. So he kind of fills in that gap. He covers Tillemans when he does go up forward. Kane, yeah. Yeah, DOF. Normally would have put him as a complete forward. Do we need them on attack? I guess what we could do is we could go, you know what, have them as support, support, have him as support so he just drops back, kind of linking these two, then have these both as attack. How about that? Because that's where our attack's coming from. Kane drops back, Telemans finding for balls, Perisic and Emerson Royals trying to split for defence, but also being a bit more cautious. Telemans can roam forward because he's got that back four in very with Basoma, Langley, Dyer, Romero. But then when Langley and Romero get the ball, they can push forward with it out to a wing back or to Tillemans. Okay, we've reshaped it a little bit without changing our instructions. This is for the Man City game, but I felt that we had to do something. Wow, Liverpool beat Chelsea 6 1. Let's have a look at that game. Did Chelsea get a man sent off? No. Two hat tricks Nunes and Diaz. Stats. Wow, 30 shots. 
Chelsea had three, one on target, 13 on target. Wow. Liverpool didn't even hold possession, so <laughs> Chelsea had 55% of possession, only managed to get three shots, one on target, but Liverpool got 30. So what formation are you playing? Okay, F1's, that's kind of like your modern back nowadays. Jorginho's probably a DLP, he's probably an anchor, ball winning midfielder, when you've got two cams and a striker. Liverpool, what are they playing? They're playing back up four, yeah, but they're playing that three like we're playing, but we're, so we're playing like Liverpool's forwards, but kind of like that modern midfield defence. That's kind of the influence, I guess. Yeah, wow, that game caught my eye. So I just wanted to share that with you. What a battering. 6-1. Right, we're selling Lucas Moura. 10 million. He's 30 years old. He was always going to be a squad player for us. We've got cover to get rid of him. Do we drop Son? No, because we're putting him attacking and we've changed Kane to come down and support. Let's see how that goes. Happy with that. Submit team. Let's go and play Man City. Big game, guys. Prediction? Uh, I would be happy with a draw. Let's go nil-nil. The pressure is all on them. It is. They're at home. Let's go cause our upset. Do you think the first goal here will be crucial? It's always important to score goals. Let's just be sarcastic. You made it clear that the performances against Brighton wasn't good enough. So what needs to change today? It really is as simple as asking how hard we're prepared to work now. I want us to focus on our style of play. Yes. That didn't happen in our last game. It's not really much to say. We haven't even had a shot and we're losing. Oh, we picked up a bit of momentum. Got a shot, shot on target, 100% shooting. There you go, we picked up a little bit out of end here. Wow, 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 wow. We're holding good possession, 58% possession, 90% passes completed. Just like Chelsea versus Liverpool. Liverpool win 6-1 and Chelsea had 55% of the possession. Football is not all about possession nowadays. Ah, Emerson Royal got injured. Spence on. Actually, let's put Persoma over there. And then take Royal off and bring on Benton Core. We need to go a bit more cautious. I'm not attacking. Shorter. No. We need to play higher tempo. Let's play more wide. Oh, spread for play out. Realize there's no option to play offside trap. Or is that if I go step up more, is that our offside trap? Well, I feel like this is our third game now. That front freeze just not performing i really am trying to get the best out of kane just gonna swap them around we need our away formation sometimes i do it sometimes i don't i don't think this formation is good enough could be interesting maybe swap them around something different i think tillerman's up standard 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 play out defense work ball into a box let's just take that off mid block change that to balanced try and get the best out of these three don't really have anyone on bench to really influence this game well, let's try that a little bit of change of shape yeah absolutely disgraceful performance team just didn't want to perform did not turn up fresh arms yes i'm angry disgusting performance harry kane 5.8 kane's dropped did we get rid of Kane? He's just not performing, is he? Three games, no goals. Son, crap. Kane, crap. Two best players. I said I'll be happy with a draw. And it's never nice losing. But for us to just not turn up and play is just unacceptable. And it just shows how far Tottenham are behind Manzu. Ibsen Royale, he's out for four weeks. Can you hear that? Sorry, I called out later. I stopped recording. Can I go back? Well, let me go back. Ah. Right, let me go back. I wanted to show it. Chuckle Dooms, what's that? He's off for pots. Oh man, I was so excited to um, blare out that song. Oh well, I heard some of it. But it's a Champions League draw. Oh, look at this, it's nice. Nice little feature. Let's start for draw. Group A. Do I need to do anything here? That's for host. Who's Hugo Sanchez? Overview. Live updates, overview. Just have a feel for this. First time I've done it. Now let's move on to pot one where we introduce some more very good teams. Advance to the next team, advance to the next pot, advance. Can we just get advance? Start draw. Oh, there we go. What's that gonna do? Is that on a timer? Does a timer go round all the time? What's next? Oh, okay. It's, oh, wow, that's slow. Don't know if I like that. Maybe what I'm gonna do is just press advance and we're doing our own time. Let's do for the first thing first because that's boring now it becomes interesting where are we what, what are we in we in pot two so we could come out next group here we go so group a could play porto barcelona milan Sevilla, man city oh man city juventus psg oh psg tottenham oh by munich chelsea real madrid liverpool Ooh. ajax red bull frankfurt atletico madrid and then we go to pot three. So Shakhtar, 
just want to see our group, I guess. Bayer Leverkusen, Man City, Juventus, and can't be Dortmund. Oh, Salzburg. Oh, we're going to get Dortmund now that I said that. We're going to get Dortmund or Inter, aren't we? Oh my God, that's turning into a group of death. Bayern Munich, Chelsea, Benfica, Real Madrid, Liverpool, Inter. Ooh, 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 ooh. Ajax, Red Bull. Uh, it's becoming a bit more of an easier group there. Frankfurt, Atletico Madrid, Sporting. And now we're going last pot. Who don't we want? Monaco. Probably just Monaco. Marseille, maybe. Oh, Marseille. Uh, Milan should win that. I see Juventus, Salzburg, and Club Rouge. And this is where we're going to get bloody Monaco. Oh, okay, an easier team. We might come third in this group. That's going to be tough. Dortmund and Dynamo. PSG. Again, going to be like for Man City and that we just played. It's going to be very hard. But I mean, Chelsea, Benfica. Oh, right. That's now become a tough group. Celtic. Oh, that would have just finished that group off nicely there. And Torbell. Oh, Celtic. Celtic got a chance going through there. I mean, Red Bull and Ajax most likely will go through, but still. And Torbell. Amazing. There we go. There is the draw. Are we going to progress through? We need a lot of luck. Or by the time we get to those games, we need to make sure our tactic is spot on. Right, I'm going to go play for Leicester game in the background. And then our next episode, we've got Liverpool away. We'll show you Dortmund. We'll show you PSG. And then we'll update you on where we are in the league. And we'll probably show you Arsenal and then PSG uh, highlights. So some really, really top games coming up. Really excited. Hopefully pull out a result against Liverpool and Newcastle and go into the Champions League all guns blazing. Thank you for watching. New to my channel? Check out this playlist.